It's Mac Mac June June TV. TV. It's Pirate Ship Radio. What? Let's get it, man. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Yo, what up? Let's go. Welcome to the pirate ship. This city is on. Begins and never be the same. City is blown. 103.5. You know it's the home for hip hop and R&B. Yeah, we blazing your dome. Sit back, relax, turn your radios on blast. If you're on your way to the club, we're chasing the bad bands. Yeah, it's just cruising through the streets with a tank full of gas. For one thing, uh, the game and 50 Cent, they always seem to kind of just say something to where. The conversation comes back around to them again. Like it just it just never dies down. It it just kinda like goes dormant, but it never ends, right? So the game came out and pretty much was saying that, you know, you know back when he used to always do that G U not and all that kind of stuff, you know, the G U oh, yeah. not. Yeah. Okay, well, it was a reason that he stopped doing that. Cause he just he just he just stopped out of nowhere, right? This is what the game had to say about that. A lot of people don't know this. Like fifty and uh, and Jimmy R. B they, they gave me a million dollars to stop saying G U not. They wrote me a check, so they had to pay me. I should have asked for more, but the gave me a million. So I'm like, a, ch- y- a million dollars just to stop saying this word with a check. That's they crazy. wrote the check, and I stopped saying it. Wow. That is That's crazy, right? Crazy. A million dollars. Yo, what up, man? It's Mac Jim TV, man. Check it out. Pirate Shit Radio. We are broadcasting live from the 405. Y'all tap in. Mariah Carey. It's the remix. That's how we do it. We don't play the regular degular. Holla at your man. Mm. So they all been saying, you know, Will Smith is done and Hollywood is this, and that, and yeah. this, that. He's been banned from the Oscars for the next, what, eight, eight years, seven, eight years, or something like that. Like he broke a glass, right? So right. it's a seven years bad look from the Oscars. You're right? on punishment, sir. Look, exactly. He's in the corner for seven, eight years, <laughs> right. right? But what I noticed afterwards is that Chris Rock, ticket sale soaring. He's crazy, right? Booking more and more shows everywhere. Price tag going up, right? Will Smith, have you noticed that all you see all over television now is stuff with Will Smith, movies, uh, uh, Fresh Prince, it's everywhere now. All you see is Will Smith. You know, you have the, uh, wow. all his movies, all of his movies. Oh. Uh, the uh, the iRobot, that recently just came on. Um, you had the, uh, what's the other one that he did? Uh, Hancock. That's been playing. They got to keep him alive, too. Like, Will is a legend. Like, they can't mute him. Speaking of, I Am Legend, that also came on. (laughs) (laughs) They have been playing all Will Smith all day, every day on different channels. HBO, Cinemax, TBS. Bounce. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think think there's any Will Smith movies on Bounce. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so anyway, man, y'all keep it locked. We got the Pirate Ship Spotlight coming up, man. Mr. Nasty Music himself is going to be in the buildings for 1035. It's Mac June TV. Girl, you know that I'm just trying to buy. And we rolling up some nasty music right there. I like back on Mac June TV once again. Girl, we so elevated. Girl, we're throwing up the phone. Give me a low shot. I like it. This is 103.5 Hip Hop and R&B. This you guy one. I hold you down for Saturday night, man. We are right in the middle of the Pipe Ship Spotlight. And you just heard that I like from Nasty Music. And he is in the building. Everybody give a round of applause. Mr. Nasty Music. Let's go. Yeah, what's what's, poppin', what's man? going on with you, man? Ah, uh, man. Good vibes. Good energy, man. Yeah. You've yeah. had a lot going on since the last time we talked, man. Yes, sir. It's been, you've been, you've been many places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet... On everybody's phones at the same time, right? Hey, that's how it's supposed to be, man. So check this out. Let's 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 go right into that, man. That's yeah. because that seemed to have done something else for you, yeah. On a, on a bigger scale. So you dropped the, vid- the, the video that came out. Uh-huh. Um, you said it went viral, right? Yeah. And uh, it was a show that you were doing a live show, yeah, right? Yeah. And it just popped off. Yeah, yeah. Now the, the Anaya show. The Anaya uh, show. Shout out to Anaya, man. Dope yeah. artist, dope artist, man. Uh, but it's yeah, uh, Ship uh, Radio. two, three weeks ago, mm-hmm. crazy show, crazy love, man. And uh, I just, you know, I just killed every inch of the stage, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring that Bobby B in his prime energy every yeah. time. You the feel Bobby me? Brown. Listen, that's that's <laughs> one of my idols, man. So like, yeah. every, when I hit that stage, man, I'm 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 gonna bring that. Okay. 
Mm, you right. feel me? So speaking of Bobby Brown, did you check out the special? Yeah, I checked it out. I'm, I'm, I bet you did. I that definitely did. checked it out. So right. how, how did you? How did you? What did you take from that? How did you feel about um, it? I mean, a lot of stuff I already knew because I didn't already, you yeah. know, studied them. You, a you lot. know, it's life. You know, it's life. I know it's life, but yeah. you know, it just got into like more details of like you know his downfall and everything and the stuff he went through. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of just like giving younger artists like myself like the blueprint like you can be on top but you know if you don't keep it together you can fall you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so like i'm just getting all my ducks in the roll and everything so i can stay floating and yeah. ain't, i ain't trying to fall off man so so how much how much bobby brown is in your music oh uh, man i would say hmm i would say maybe a good maybe 30 percent you okay. know what i'm saying yeah Mu like entertainment wise music wise but like i got a few people that's in my you know from him to joe to see the, the genuine right um those are probably like my top three okay as far as like influences like that influence my sound how much of his of, of his of him is in your show your stage show oh uh, yeah that's a good 80. <laughs> Yo, T, did you hear that? What? That ready? Did you hear that? Yeah. Was you listening oh, yeah. to that? Oh yeah, that was hot. That man, was once hot. again, nasty music right there with Ready Yo, man. That's, That's another true. banger. Appreciate it. It's a banger, yeah, man. Yeah, that that. Uh, like we was talking about on the air, uh, we you actually performed that one back uh, at the um, uh, the back Valentine's, the Valentine's show. Yeah, yeah over yeah, at Poor yeah. Lounge and everything, right? Yeah. yeah. And so who on, who's on that record with you? Man, me and my girl Tylee, man. Uh, we kind of I've been known. 10, 15 years. Y'all mesh really well, man. Yeah, yeah. That was a really good yeah. duet. I was gonna ask I, I told her we gotta get back that? in that th <laughs> Tylee, we gotta get we gotta get back. You got yeah. to. Yeah. Gotta get back in the lab. Yeah, so what so sound. what's her, what was her response? She ready. She ready? She, she said she ready. Did you hear that? You gotta be ready. Of course. The song's ready. The song is ready. You gotta be ready. Sounds it sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure that was, I'm sure that was all pun intended to just hit the ready. Pun intended. Yeah. We all we all try to find a way yeah. to plug ourselves in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so like you said, you still got a lot of more shows that's coming up, right? Mm -hmm. All right. But before we get into to that and then kind of get into your last record that you have here, mm -hmm. let's let's go back for those who 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 didn't hear you the first time you were here? Okay. Let's kind of go over a little background about yourself. You know, let everybody know who you are, where you from, how you okay. came up, and all that good stuff. Give okay. yourself a good introduction to everybody that's listening right now. Okay, uh, nasty music, man. Uh, I, I used to go by Young Nasty. Uh, yeah, I started like way back in high school on YouTube doing mm -hmm. the viral dance videos. Uh, you know, the, the Dougie and the yeah, and yeah. all that. Yeah, you know, yeah. back in the day. So that was real big back in in talk. It's oh, wow. TV. Hold on. Honestly, I re I remember the first time I really started dancing. Like it was I was like I was a little little kid. Michael Jackson had a special mm -hmm. on HBO. It was probably like 95, 90. It was mm -hmm. I remember seeing it and I was okay. like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then my pops used to put me on like all the old groups, Motown, yes. Earth Wind and Fire, all yeah. that. So I knew about yeah. the old stuff before I really even knew about what was going on currently. Yeah. Um, then I was singing in the church choir, you know, leading the choir, and I was like nine, ten, yeah. uh, you know, 17, 16, 17, I actually got in the studio, started messing around a little bit, 18, went viral. So with between the, the, the church music and, and Isley's and Earth, Wind and & Fire and all that kind of good stuff, mm -hmm. you came up knowing how to, not just hear, but... Yeah possibly in the future recreate that that feel good music yeah man what i say about that is it's something about that 90s r&b mm -hmm. you know that's just different from and i love absolutely the, i love the mute the r&b before that and i love the r&b after that yeah but it's something about that feeling it's pirate you know, shit radio I, I like to just you know i like you know choreography make it clean and all that but you know i like to kind of just do my thing and just yeah. just go crazy uh back in april I opened up for jay holiday in uh new jersey okay uh that was love uh i performed at um uh, a big event in new york um a week after that that was love okay which um, event was it in uh in new york which one it was like the it was like the day submit festival okay, okay. it was with like asylum records and uh alamo okay uh, my boy uh shout out my boy Prince with Hot 97. It was yeah. a lot, a lot of you yeah. know heavy hitters in the band. Yeah, so I think Hot 97 is involved. In Hot 97, some way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've heard so, about but that. But I got a connection with them. You know what I'm saying? Like as far they got a lot of tours and stuff coming up. So yeah, I'm gonna be you know dealing with them on on a lot. Jagged Edge when I was growing up. So right. like that's who I wanted to be. Like when I was a 
kid, that's who I wanted to be. I wanted to be genuine. You okay. know, when I seen so anxious and yeah. all that. That, yeah. I, that was what I wanted. You yeah. know, usher a little bit later on. You know, but that that whole because I've always been a dancer, I've always been yeah. a performer, and so like my artistry, my style. I always kind of mirrors off the the MJs, the Bobby Bs, the, yeah. the Ushers, the you know. So that that's like a family tree, and I feel like I'm on that tree. Yeah, and, and I you feel just like not... when the world see me, it's, they gonna know I'm one of the coldest. That's song that's gonna right. be on that tree. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now with those the people that you named, right? Mm -hmm. You kind of just took a stretch from everywhere from the 70s mm -hmm. all the way up to the early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. And they all held down their eras. Facts. And put out a lot of good music. Mm -hmm. People clown Usher and everything now because yeah. it, the things that he's got going on, you, yeah. just, you can't just One of the around. goats, man. He is. He is. One. But from a joking standpoint, you oh, can't yeah. be going around and burning people. But <laughs> Especially when you made a song called Let It Burn. I love, love you, brother. Yeah, okay, you, brother. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I asked nothing but love because well, he, he brought us a whole bunch of hits. Yeah, man. A whole bro, bunch of hits. Definitely Genuine. look up to G. Yeah, man. Like, G. Man, listen, G. He's another one in his prime. That's why I kind of like to 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 see artists. Like, that's why I get. How can I word this? Like the the pure element of them when they was in their prime. Yeah. Like. You know, forget that they fell off or whatever might have happened in between. But like the prom eras is what I look yeah. at. Yeah. G Wan in his prom, wasn't a lot of people touching Absolutely. him. Absolutely. Now people you know, and his prom, he's yeah. one of the. That's he's, how I want to. He's still cold. Yeah. Yeah. And, and since we're just now two years into this decade, mm -hmm. you still have plenty of time to take over. Yeah. And create your own era. Yeah. Especially when you're following those kind of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When when you follow a certain person, mm -hmm. you're trying to you. you you know, you're trying to not just be them, but you, in a sense, you, you want to outdo it. Exactly. Wanna, yeah. and, and you start developing your own styles out of that. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely. So we're with you on that one. And somehow, I don't know how, mm -hmm. but Tara is, is, is starting to turn this show into a very slanderous show here. We can't do that. <laughs> all right? Ease up. Ease up. Ease up. Okay, so before we get out of here, man, um, uh, tell us about what all you got coming up here real soon. Uh, besides the shows and, and, and the traveling, man, um... I got. I'm working on new music, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I got some, uh, of course, some solo projects, some singles going up. But uh, yeah. what I was saying, me and my boy, another artist, Bam Beasy, mm -hmm. we we created a duo. Uh, we still solo artists, but we have a duo like group when we together. It's okay. called Nasty Baby. You know oh, what I'm all saying? Right. All right. All so, right. So. Yeah, like it's it, and that's you know when we performed at that night, it was like y'all remind us of like little Joe to see a little pretty Ricky or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. And so uh, yeah, okay. we come in this capture that lane, man. That's a you know I love everybody that's out right yeah. now. I love the Lucky Days and Eric Bellinger's and all them. But it's something that I want you to know. I'm just trying to clear my mind and gain some clarity, and girl is driving me crazy though. I'm stuck. Now that's how you stuck. It's Mac June TV. You know what's stuck? Yeah. 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 Quick, the Yes, sir, this is Panel 103.5, Blazing Hip Hop and R&B Old City. It is the bottom of the hour right now. We got turned up there for a little bit. Yeah. Man, big shout out to Nasty Music for coming through, doing his thing. Yeah, he got some nice um, tracks. Yeah. I like them. It's a whole vibe, man. He's yeah. got a whole vibe. He bringing it back. Yeah. All right, so you ready to get back into some music? Yeah, let's go. All right, Old City, man, sit back, relax, check this out. We got the big clouds coming to OKC here real soon, July. Oh, no, June 18th, Saturday, June 18th, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saturday, June 18th, got big clouds coming up right after the official Juneteenth Fest going down. And we're going to have a live listening party for the late Slim 400. Yeah. We got some uh, ice water records. They're going to be in the building. Mud Dollars in the building. Kita Rue's going to be in the building. It's going down, right? Yeah, for sure. So, we got this brand new song, brand new single, Slim 400. The first record to drop since he passed, right? Mm. This one right here is Casey Veggie's. I call it love this. Mm. Can't say the last part. <laughs> <laughs> but it goes hard, man. It goes down. So, old, old city, we got to give it, man. Slim 400. That's I got. Yeah. Mud Dollar. Shout out for this one, man. Thanks for the alley up on it. Let's get it. Old city, Slim 400, Casey Veggies. Love this. Power 103.5. Let's go.
Hey, what up, what up, it's your boy Slim 400. Hold up. Right now, we're told Dan, we're one out Willie. Pirate Ship Radio. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They it's Slim 400. Yeah. Ice water. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Running shit. Oh, the Slim 400, baby. Oh, come on. It's Pirate Ship Radio. Yes, sir. Power 103.5 Blazing Hip Hop and R&B. Brand new music. Slim 400. Casey Veggies. Just think about that. I'm rocking with it. Yeah. I'm rocking with that. Yeah. You got a lot more heat, man. Brand new album about to drop, man. Y'all check that out. Slim 400. It's coming. And it's coming soon. All right. So anyway, O City, it's time to turn up right now. I got my guy coming straight out of KC, man. Brand Docious in the building. This is his brand new, brand new single. We got this potion right now. Let's get it. Yeah, you already know that you're home by a brand Docious. Mm. And you're in the mix with DJ Wanna. Drop that. Brandocious, what up with it? See you, baby. Brandocious! Magic Johnson been making money since the 80s. Hey, much love to one of the yeah. pioneers of the game. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so now let's talk about speaking of one of the, well, he's not a pioneer, but well, for a, a legend, generation a of, the game, of the game, Kanye say. West. Okay. I'm referring to him. Oh. He's, he's <laughs> not a pioneer of the game, but of, okay, okay. of a different generation. All right. Kanye West, he's filed trademark for Yeezus. He's going to trademark Yeezus. Jesus. Yeah, you know, because he thinks he's, you know. He was the first one to say it, huh? Yeezy no. Jesus. You know, he's, oh, he's going to. Yeezus is his new name. And he's going to trademark that. And it's going to include various uses. Now, let's get this here mm -hmm. stores, toys, games, sporting equipment, buttons, clothing, bags, household items, cosmetics, cryptocurrencies, N NFTs, and much more. He's gonna put that brand on all of these things. So, it, <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm not saying he's crazy, nothing that. like that. What I'm saying is, by him doing this, for everybody that's listening, if you have a brand, you might want to do the same thing, because that's big. You're gonna you're gonna brand all that stuff. All that stuff. Just all imagine those, all that. All income. those Jesus Whoa. pieces. <laughs> Jesus pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it locked. We got DJ You're Kane right. coming up to Tower on 3.5. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's what I really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. 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 Hey, that's a wrap. It's Pirate Ship Radio.